Welcome to the PT and OT Helper tutorial. Currently we have apps to assist with golf elbow, tennis elbow, fingers and hand therapy, and ankle injuries. All PT and OT Helper apps have the same look and feel, but are designed for specific injuries or target areas. For this tutorial, we'll be using the Golf Elbow app. Even though all PT and OT Helper apps are designed with expert supervision, all users should consult their physician or therapist prior to use. Create a new user by tapping the button in the upper left. You will see a list of existing users for this device. You can add a new user by tapping the plus button and type in the name. You can also add an email address for connection between the therapist and patient. You will be able to email exercise routines when needed. To add exercises, just click the add icon in the bottom left corner of the screen. All the exercises included in the app can be viewed by sliding the list up and down. Each exercise has a left and right version when appropriate. Simply tap the exercises you wish to perform and they will be added to your routine. If you want more information about an exercise, just tap the info button. When finished, tap the done button. You can rearrange the exercises by holding the move icon and sliding up or down. Exercises can be deleted by tapping the delete key then by tapping the minus icon and confirming. When finished, tap the done button. You can save your routine for later use by tapping the button in the upper left. Then tap the plus button and type in the name. As you create many routines, you will see the list here. Each exercise can be customized to change the reps, speed, sets, and difficulty. For stretch exercises, the speed adjuster is changed to how long the stretch will be held. Difficulty will be appropriate for that exercise with current equipment available. Saved routines can be sent through email by tapping the send button. If the recipient has the PTOT helper app, the routine will open up automatically from the sent email. If they don't have the app, a link will be provided instead to buy the app and then enter the routine. Now let's start exercising by tapping the Start Exercise button. To begin each exercise, simply tap the Start button. If needed, the speed of the animation can be changed in real time. As I move the speed slider, the animation will change immediately. I can also change repetitions, number of sets, and difficulty from this screen. For stretch exercises, the slider now changes how long you hold that stretch. All done in real time and reflected immediately. The upper left shows the list of exercises and you can quickly navigate to any exercise by scrolling through the window and tapping on that exercise. Or just tap the previous or next button to the left and right of the animation when paused or ended. Now if we go back home by tapping the home button on the bottom left and look at reports, we can see how each user's progress is recorded and can even be sent by tapping the send button in the upper right. The recipient will receive all the graphs in their email. Each user can have their own set of routines, but a template of exercise routines that can be used by all users can be created by first changing the user to master list. Tap user and then choose master list from the list shown. First we'll add a few new exercises to this routine. Then we tap the routine button in the upper left and we will see all the routines already stored in the master list. Tap the plus button to add this new routine and give it a name. Now let's go back to our original user John Doe. Click the settings icon in the lower right to move routines from the master list to John's list. Now, when we tap the routine button in the upper left, we can see all the routines we just added to John's list from the master list. Let's change his routine to right hand strength 2, and we see that he is quickly set to go. Add special instructions or reminders by using the notes button. Even timestamp your notes. Each exercise has an audio accompaniment to describe how to perform that exercise. You can change the volume of the audio by tapping the audio icon. 
click the like button to go to the website, like us on Facebook, contact us, sign up for newsletter, and review us. There's always the help icon in case you need a quick guide. We hope this helps you getting started with the PTOT Helper app. Visit our website for any additional information and updates.